almost certainly seen these splodges of mud on brick walls or pieces of wood or up around ce uh, ceilings, and they really do look as if somebody's just heaved a lump of mud at the wall. And mud it is, but it's actually been made by an animal, a very interesting one called the mason wasp. And it gets that name because it actually works with masonry, this dried clay or mud. And in fact, it's the place where it lays its eggs and raises its young. It's also called the mud dauber or the potter wasp for obvious reasons. And the construction of that mud ball it's carrying is really quite interesting. First of all, the wasp flies off to a source of water. It might be a pond or a puddle or even your dog's drinking dish. And it fills its stomach with water. Then it finds a source of dry, dusty dirt. And it regurgitates the water, mixing it with the dirt to make the mud ball. When it's big enough, it flies to the nest. The nest is composed of a series of these little spherical chambers, each one like a hollow mud ball. They're going to be the brood chambers for the wasp's young. Some species use spiders as a food source, others use caterpillars. Stage by stage, the nest's built, the wasp using feet and jaws to spread the mud out. The finished cells look like that. Each one is completed, stocked and sealed before the next one's begun. This species uses little green caterpillars and they're stuffed into the hole. It's rather like pushing a sausage into a bottle. The caterpillar doesn't struggle because it's paralyzed. Not dead, but paralyzed by the wasp's sting. And it will live inside that chamber for quite a long time. Not very happily, because in the chamber is also a wasp egg. And as the egg hatches, the grub feeds on the caterpillar. So when you see those empty chambers, it means that the young wasps have emerged as adults. They've gone off to run their own lives and raise their own brood in these little masonry houses.